Good morning, kinders. Today for our ABC book, we are doing J is for Jackrabbit. So I am going to make my Jackrabbit kind of look like the bunny off of Pets, The Secret Life of Pets. So mine's going to look like Snowball. So the first thing that we're starting with is doing two eyes. You make them kind of big. All right, and that's all you need to do for the eyes. We're going to color them in with our black marker once we're done. The next thing you do is the nose, and you put the nose pretty close to the eyes. And you start with just a V shape, and then you connect the V. So it looks like that. I'm going to actually move this eye over a little bit. Oh. Eraser's getting a little funky. All right, that is a little better. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is kind of the mouth part. So you start at the top of the um, of the triangle, and you're gonna make a circle, and it well more of an oval. And so you just go around like that. The next part that we're going to do is draw a line down the middle of the oval and outside of it, and then you're going to connect with another line to make the teeth. Augie's getting into some trouble again. Holy buckets. Okay, so now that we have that, it's, it's time for us to draw the, um, the head. So you're going to start at the top and you're going to make it kind of an oval shape. Just like that. Okay, the next part that we're going to do is we need to draw the ears. So you're going to start kind of closer to the middle, but not quite the middle of the head, at the top of the head. And you're going to go up and around. We're going to make a floppy bunny ear. So it looks like that. And you want them to be pretty big. Snowball's ears off of Secret Life of Pets is, are pretty big. So then you're going to go around and just like this um and i actually made my bottom a little too skinny i'm gonna go ahead and fix that a little bit okay so then from there we're gonna make the inside of the ear and what you're gonna do is you're just gonna make a line in the middle of the ear and go up and then connect it like this and that will be the middle of the ear. All right, so then we're gonna do the next one the same way. Oh, and it's okay if they're not perfectly the same, but if they are, that's great too. All right. And then you make the middle up and around to connect it and that will make more sense once we color it too okay so now we need to do the body and for the body what we're going to what we're going to start with is the arm so you're going to go ahead and just start at the head and draw like a little curve like that and then give his hand some lines and there you go all 
Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to give Snowball a carrot. So you're going to start by drawing a line on this side and then a line on this side and then you're going to connect it. like this to make kind of a sideways triangle shape. Like so. Then you're going to give it some lines. And then you're going to connect the top. And then you're going to make the top of the carrot. Like that. Okay, now we need to do the rest of the body. So we do the other arm, and the other arm isn't going to quite connect to the head. But it's just going to be down here. Almost connects to the head, though. Then you want to give it some lines. Just like that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start down here. You're going to draw the feet. So you go down just a little ways. And you draw kind of two half circles. And then you're going to connect those half circles together all at once. So you start on one and you just make a line like that. Oh, not too far. And there you have the feet, but then we're also going to draw little lines for the toes like that. Okay, so now we need to connect it all together. So you're going to start at the head and draw a circle all the way down to the feet. You know what? Mine's looking funky. That's a little better, I guess. And then you're going to draw, you don't need to start, well, you don't need to completely do the neck part, but you can draw like a little line right there, and then you just connect. To the bottom like that and there you have it so now we need to outline it and also color it um, I'm going to show you for the eyes I'm gonna just leave a little tiny tiny bit of um, white so I'll just draw like a little sparkle not anything big. The rest of the eye you want to be black. Just like that. Okay, I'm going to finish um, outlining this and then we'll practice writing our sentence and then I will show you how to color it. Okay, so after I started um, to outline it, I realized that I didn't do a background, so I went ahead and did my background, and I just did a sun with some trees and bushes and things like that. Okay, so let's practice writing our sentence, J is for Jackrabbit. We're going to make sure to use capitals at the beginning of the sentence, we're going to use periods at the end of the sentence, and we're going to put spaces between our words.
All right, and there we have our sentence. J is for jackrabbit. So the next thing we need to do is color our picture. Um, so since I'm making Snowball off of Secret Life of Pets, Snowball we know is white. So I'm not going to color my rabbit. I am, however, going to color his nose pink and the inside of his ears pink. Okay, and I also need to color the carrot. So while you're coloring, remember our coloring rules. It's small strokes, one direction, lots of color, realistic. So while we color, we're remembering those coloring rules. Okay, and here is the finished product of my J is for Jackrabbit. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you soon.